GMOG Sports TV back with another one. All right, so according to multiple reports, the pay-per-view numbers are in for Wilder Fury 2. And we're getting buys between 800 to 850,000 buys. So that's under a million and well under 2 million pay-per-view buys. So I predicted anywhere between 500 and 700,000. So it exceeded that expectation, right? Um, but overall, compared to what Bob Aaron said, he said 2 million, it failed. It failed and it flopped. No, you know, there's no, there's no way you can, you can, you can sugarcoat that. It failed and it flopped. Would I, would I like to see the fight do two million and break records? Of course, you know, I want the boxing is my favorite sport. I want it. I want boxing to succeed. I want everybody to eat. But for somebody like Bob Aram to say two million pay per view buys and it falls short of a million, right? 850,000 uh, buys, yeah, it's a flop. It's a flop. You know, now it did record, it did a record breaking uh, gate, you know, over 16 million. So props, props on that. I'll give you props on that. And I was, I was very harsh on, on the fact that it's low ticket sales, but the fact that um, the tickets were so high, that's why I got a large gate, you know? Um, but overall, it didn't do a million, and it damn sure didn't do two million. You know, eight hundred and fifty thousand, right? Um, I'm pretty sure the LDBC, PBC, and Al Hamer protectors would say that's a victory. It's not. You know, it could def if it, it could definitely do better. You know, and and now that the now that the fight is solidified for a trilogy. I would expect the next fight should to do over a million buys. I would expect that. You know, I would definitely expect that. But here's the thing, though, and, and here's the here's the thing about Wilder fans. You know, for the most part, the reason why the buys did eight hundred and fifty thousand buys, and the gate was so high, is because of Tyson Fury fans. It's not because of Wilder fans. Wilder fans don't show up to watch the fights in, in person. They don't buy plane tickets and and go to hotels to support their American heavyweight champion. They only stay online. They only make YouTube channels, YouTube videos, and post videos and stuff like that. And then the small percentage that do show up to watch Deontay Wilder fight live and support him are outnumbered with Tyson Fury fans. Or if he if he does fight Anthony Joshua, well, the, his fans will outnumber. Deontay Wilder fans, 50, probably 100 to 1. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, the, the contribution to 850,000 pay-per-view buys and 16 million gate, yeah, that's because of Tyson Fury fans. It ain't because of Deontay Wilder fans. So you can thank Tyson Fury fans for that. That's the harsh reality. That's the harsh reality. You can thank Tyson Fury fans for those buys. I guarantee you. You know, call yourself a Wilder fan. You don't show up to fights. You don't buy the pay-per-view. You stream it illegally. You go to, or you go to a, a fight party where you don't pay. You know, that doesn't count. You know, so, but yeah. Um, it's official numbers are 800, between 800 and 8, 850,000 pay-per-view buys between Wilder Fury 2 this past weekend. That is a major disappointment, a major letdown. Um... And, you know, I thought, like I said, I thought it would do 500 to 700,000. It exceeded my expectation, but I always quote Bob Aram with 2 million. It didn't even reach a million. That's a flop. Got to call a spade a spade. So those are my thoughts on that, family. Leave your comments down below. GMOG Sports TV. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at GMOG Media TV. Till next time, family. Signing out. Peace.